Councillor Andrew Cooper. Just when the no clapping rule comes in. Um, so um, I, I think one thing I want to start off by saying is I is, um, uh, really want to pay tribute to the, the work of Save Our Spen and the detailed and uh, dedicated and determined campaigning that they've done on this issue. And it's been highly useful for those who have been watching this application. Um, uh, what I would say is that this is um, uh, the, probably the furthest away from the ward I represent in, in Kirklees, uh, and, um, but nevertheless, I, I recognise it uh, as one of the biggest threats uh, to Kirklees' green credentials uh, that you could uh, imagine. Thousands of additional vehicles with all the carbon emissions uh, that come from that, coming not just from the lorries, uh, but from the, uh, from the cars and from the buses and everything that comes from that. And 529 HGVs uh, every 10 minutes going through that site, day in, day out, 24-7 uh, a year. Um, and, and uh, of course, one of the things that I saw today was when looking at the application was that um, that in 15 years there will be a row of trees which will, uh, uh, from one vantage point, will block out the view of the big grey box, five shades of grey. And 15 years from now is 2038. And 2038 is the time that West Yorkshire is supposed to become a zero carbon economy. And I've those, those trees are just basically not going to do the job, uh, uh, straightforwardly. The building uh, that's being put forward, we're being told, is a BRIAM standard, which is an energy uh, an environmental model standard, is very good. And when you look at that, you think, very good. But actually, there are two standards higher than very good, and that is uh, excellent and outstanding. And with the very, very deep pockets that Amazon has, you would have expected that they would have built to a much higher standard uh, than the ones they're putting on today, uh, putting forward to, towards us today. And uh, I don't, honestly don't care if there are four megawatts of solar PV panels on top. That does not mitigate the impacts that are going to come from all the vehicle movements that have come from there. And it is not just the carbon emissions. It's not just a global issue, and it is a global issue. But it's also a very local one. It's about the roads around. It's about the local environment. It's about the quality of people's lives. It's about the things which make life worth living. And that's one of the things that we should be here at planning to do. It's about the congestion at Chain Bar and going through Skulls and on Whitechapel Road. Uh, I've been to the site, I've looked at it, uh, along with my colleague from Bradford, uh, Councillor Matt Edwards. Uh, he's been as well. And the prospect of those roads being basically used as a lorry park and a toilet uh, are just not, not worth thinking about. And we hear the news this week that, um, that in, in public health terms, that the air quality in the area is already one of the very worst in Kirklees. And if it's one of the worst in Kirklees already, what's going to happen when thousands of extra lorries start appearing on, on those roads? What does that mean for the health of local people? But there is a real way out of the situation and it, what is being clear is that this is a highly balanced application and that the reasons for objection are well laid out in the report so councillors here today who are here to make a decision or unlike myself um, have got those reasons slap bang in front of them they don't have to go with the officer recommendation because the officer has said it's finally balanced already and the reasons are there so I strongly urge you to oppose this application, to throw it out and think of the people uh, of, of uh, Skulls and the surrounding villages and um, oppose the application. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew.